Hi, today I'm going to briefly talk about servitors so that hopefully those of you who don't know anything about them would get an idea. A servitor is a specifically created thought form that is designed to perform a personal task. You would basically take this thought form and give enough attention or psychic energy so that it is able to manifest to a lesser or greater degree in what we consider consensual reality. You can create a servitor to act as a familiar spirit, a companion, a mentor, an advisor to protect your home and so on. I wouldn't recommend this practice for a beginner practitioner because someone who is just getting into this practice creating a servitor might be a bit overwhelming. Before you decide that you want to try and create a servitor, you should practice meditation and visualization because these skills are very important when it comes to this type of practice. To give you an idea, if you ever have an imaginary friend when you were a child, a servitor is similar if not the same thing, because I believe children are actually able to create thought forms that can then become real entities that can act as a friend or a pet companion and so on. So how do you actually create a servitor? After deciding what the purpose of your servitor is going to be, you want to start by searching a reference of how it's going to look like. You can use different types of toys like dolls or pictures, you can even draw it if you would like to. Being a physical object is going to help you a lot with visualizing your servitor because you want to be able to visualize every single detail and the look that you are going to choose is going to correspond to the specific tasks that you are planning to give them. You can create a human form but it's better if you don't create a servitor that looks like your crush if you are going to use it as a lover for example because it can create some type of complications so it's best if you don't choose people that you know even deceased ones or people that you are planning to meet and interact in one day. You you can though choose celebrities that you know you will never have any kind of relationship if that's what you would like to do. Other than that, it can look really like anything you want. You can create a human form for a lover, an older advisor, a cat or a bunny or any kind of animal that you would like to have as a pet. I would just start by thinking about the reason that I want to create it. So let's say I want a pet companion that can keep me company and just have a good time together. And the first thing that comes to my mind is a bunny because I love bunnies. I would think of the color of its fur, let's say a grey color maybe. I love all envelopes, the shape of the ears, the color of his eyes, how his tail looks like, how his paws look like and all the small details like his nails, how he would look from the front, how he would look from the back, from the both sides and so on. Visualization comes easy to me but if you struggle with it, try to find some pictures online with whatever you would like your servitor to look like. Find time when you can be alone in a quiet space so that you can focus without any distractions. Once you get a good picture of your servitor by focusing on the image and you can visualize it really good and there are other ways of creating them but I'm going to talk about creating a servitor companion in this video. You then want to try to bring it to life in a separate three-dimensional etheric form and this is why a reference is really important especially if you struggle with creating images in your mind's eye. Give yourself time because it could take from days to weeks but in the end it's all worth it. So all these steps can be broke down and worked on every day for a half an hour or as much time as you are able to. If you want you can work in a dark room with a low source of light light to be able to focus better on your servitor. Just know that you should be able to relax and be comfortable. You can close your eyes and start visualizing in detail your companion, telling yourself that you have begun creating it 
as it will help to change your energy and your focus. It could take a few weeks to do this practice, make sure that you get to a point where you can visualize it as clear and as detailed as you can. Then you can start visualizing your companion with your eyes open in the same room as you are. I would imagine my bunny coming to me, jumping around, laying near me. When you feel comfortable, you can start talking to it, interacting with it. In my case, I will try to pet him. By that, I mean visualizing my etheric hand petting my bunny, feeling its fur and other details. And you want to do it until your visualizations feel very realistic. And do remember that these are real entities that you create by starting with your thoughts and then giving him a life force and the more you interact with it, it will start creating its own personality. And the last step is to visualize your servitor and repeat slowly three times his name. And with each repetition you wanna feel and know that it is real and it is therefore alive. When you are done, say out loud once again, servitor's name, you are alive. So now you have a servitor that you can call, spend time with and interact with whenever you want. A servitor is created by you, so you don't have to fear that in one day it can turn on you or become evil or all other types of things that would create troubles for you. If you're worried about it, just know that just like you gave him life, you can also take away his life force but it won't be necessary because you created it to have fun with it and to keep you company and to have great magical results in general you should banish your doubts and feel confident in what you are doing otherwise you should work first on that and when you are ready you can start creating your servitor the more you interact with it the more he will start developing his own personality by being able to make decisions and communicate with you with less effort from you and I'm not going to talk about how you can take the life force out of your servitor just because creating these videos is taking a lot of time and energy and every time I do a video I'm not even sure if you will enjoy it and will be interested in it so if you want me to do a video on that just let me know because I want to put out content that people will actually be interested in even though it's freaky so I prefer making shorter videos and see if you guys like it first let me know if you have a servitor and if it made your life easier. You can also subscribe for more witchcraft content, that would be amazing. If not, as always, no pressure. Be always kind and see you in my next one.